Good morning. Today I will be talking about the novel Brick Lane by Monica Ali. The novel revolves around an 18-year-old Bangladeshi girl named Nazneen. She gets married to a much older male in Bangladesh. They both move to London, England to begin their new lives as immigrants. They face several unpleasant matters as they try to adapt to the new environment around them. The book is full of emotions and represents the lives of certain individuals. Everyone faces challenges in life. Some are different than others, while some are bigger than others. The various struggles build the character of each individual. When shifting to an entirely new world, life of an immigrant changes to the constant challenges they face. In Brick Lane, Monica Ali demonstrates this through the distinct racism, love, and feminism issues. The life in London, England is not easy and smooth, especially for immigrants. Racism is a very common thing in a white-dominant country. Throughout the novel, Brick Lane, racism is a significant factor in Nazneen and her family's life. Chenu, Nazneen's husband, is stopped from advancing in his career. Chenu applies for a promotion and he is positive that he will obtain the position. He ends up not getting the promotion and another white man does. He believes that this is because he's brown and he is furious about the racism shown towards him. Nazneen says, My husband says they are racist, particularly Mr. Dalloway. He thinks he will get the promotion, but it will take longer than any white man. He says if he painted his skin pink and white, there would be no problem. My husband says it's discrimination. He says that racism is built into the system. This is clear evidence shown that Chenu did not get the promotion due to his skin color. Continuing, harassment is displayed in the mosque. As Nazneen is a Muslim and attends the mosque for her prayers, she feels that the racism was indicated towards her. Nazneen hears other individuals say, Jarina said that the police had been to the mosque and questioned the imam for two hours. No one had any idea why, although many predicted trouble and everyone doubted that a church had ever been treated with such flagrant disrespect. Disrespect is shown towards the Imam, the leader of the prayers. The dispute between Muslims and Christians, along with mosque and church, come to mind. If it was a church, would the police oppressively question the priest like that? The mosque is a holy and blessed place where harassment should not take place. Questioning the Imam of the mosque for two hours is an obvious form of disrespect and harassment. The police officers represent society being racist to Nazneen's religion, and she takes this issue very personally. Lastly, racism towards Nazneen culture puts the fear of living in London, England. Karim, the man that Nazneen had an affair with, states, The racist? They cleared out of here ages ago. What about Shibli Rahman? Nazneen recognized the name. The man had been stabbed to death. It could happen again. Thing is, see, they're getting more sophisticated. They don't say race, they say culture, religion. Karim points out that the racists show hates towards the culture and religion. Shibli Rahman, a Muslim man, was stabbed to death due to racism. This is a concern for Nazneen and her family, as Nazneen believes that this can happen again. Shibli Rahman was also from Bangladesh, similarly to Nazneen. More worry is brought into the lives of Nazneen and her family. Risk of death due to racism is for sure something they don't want to live with. Evidently, racism through the working environment, religion, and culture are all ways Nazneen and her family struggled in London. Moving forward, more evidence of Nazneen being a prime example of a Bangladeshi female is demonstrated through the love challenges faced. She got an arranged marriage, even if she was unsatisfied with her husband. She did as her parents said and had full trust in them. Although Nazneen is discontent with the decision, she is compliant and respectful of Chenu after the marriage. As per Ejal.com, Nazneen is obedient to her father before she gets married and obedient to her husband after she gets married. When relocating to another country, Nazneen does not say anything about being unhappy about the relationship and continues to obey her husband. Nazneen becomes somewhat of a rebel in the novel. She has an affair with a man named Karim. The conflict of love for Nazneen between Chenu and Karim is apparent in the book. Nazneen realizes that what she is doing is wrong and immoral. Nazneen tells Karim, How can I explain? I wasn't me and you weren't you. From the very beginning to the very end, we didn't see things. What we did, we made each other up. This reveals that Nazneen is attempting to fix the love triangle. She's ending the affair with Karim. She explains that they were not themselves in the relationship. Nazneen is seeking to get her life back on track. Her character develops through the understanding of right and wrongs. She gains more self-confidence after the affair with the Karim. The self-confidence leads Nazneen to the divorce issue with Chenu. Chenu asks Nazneen to shift back to Bangladesh. Nazneen rejects and refuses the Chenu's plan. After adapting to the life in London, Nazneen decides that she will continue her life from there. From the start of the novel, Nazneen does not like Chenu. She now is brave enough to have a divorce and be a strong, independent woman. 
based on greatsaver.com, he turns alone and accepts Nazneen's proposal for divorce. Chenyu moves back to Bangladesh, while Nazneen remains in London living with her daughters. The love issues Nazneen had to go through made her resilient and an independent female. Nazneen being a young and an uneducated woman, she faces several feminism issues. Firstly, Nazneen was not allowed to do the tasks that required to leave the house. Chenyu provided all the household needs. According to BWW England, Chenyu at first would say that she wouldn't have to go out because he would just get her whatever. This implements that Nazneen is a typical Bangladeshi female. She is vulnerable and not allowed to leave her house. She is supposed to do the house chores and be the ideal housewife. Furthermore, Nazneen was in full responsibility of taking care of the kids. Chenyu did not allow her to get an education. Being the male figure, it is clear that his view on Nazneen was for sure the stereotypical Bangladeshi female. Chenyu tells Nazneen, you're going to be a mother. Will that keep you busy enough? And you can't take a baby to college. It's not as simple as that. Just to go to college like that? The words of Chenyu indicate that Nazneen should not learn English by going to college. He wants her to stay home and take care of the baby. Chenyu uses the baby as an excuse for Nazneen not to get educated and remain within the house. More restrictions to Nazneen occurred when Chenyu disallowed her to obtain a job. Chenyu says, why should you go out? If you go out, 10 people will say, I saw her walking on the street, and I will look like a fool. Chenyu is displayed as a selfish male here. He cares more about what other people think and does not regard Nazneen's opinion. For Chenyu to look moral in front of society, he denies Nazneen's idea of working. Again, this represents the stereotypical Bangladeshi female, not allowed to work and go out of her comfort zone. The big concept of character development in Nazneen's character. Nazneen's character develops from the start to the end of the novel. During the start of the novel, Nazneen is very vulnerable, does not know English, and she's limited to the freedom she gets. She always has to obey her husband. At the end of the novel, Nazneen becomes a confident and independent individual. She learns English and lives with more freedom. Throughout all these changes, Nazneen does not forget her religion and culture, and she still is the same Bangladeshi female she once was. Life is full of challenges. Stepping back from them does not make the situation any better. When facing challenges, they build individuals to progress further in life. The new life of an immigrant is one of the biggest challenges in the world. When shifting to an entirely new world, the life of an immigrant changes through the constant challenges they face. This is undoubtedly shown in Brick Lane through the struggles of Nazneen and her family. Racism, love, and feminism issues were significant concerns in their life. This concludes my presentation on the amazing book Brick Lane by Monica Ali. This is my works cited page, which includes the images I used and also the slideshow template. Thank you for listening.